Division of Fractions How to divide whole number 3 by the fraction 1 upon 5? Simple, 3 can be written as 3 upon 1, which is now divided by 1 upon 5. This is equal to 3 by 1 into 5 by 1, which is equal to 15. Another example is 7 whole number divided by 1 upon 4. Let's use the same method. 7 divided by 1 upon 4 is equal to 7 upon 1 divided by 1 upon 4 is equal to 7 upon 1 into 4 upon 1. This gives 28 as the answer. Now, let's see what you get by dividing 1 upon 9 with 1 upon 4. So, 1 upon 9 divided by 1 upon 4 is equal to 1 upon 9 into 4 upon 1 is equal to 4 upon 9 and this is the answer. Recap Toby Mouse is ready to revise fraction. He watches the drawings on the porch. One out of four parts is shaded so he writes the fraction as 1 by 4. In the next drawing, 2 out of 8 parts are shaded. So, Toby writes 2 by 8. In the third drawing, 4 out of 16 parts are shaded and Toby writes 4 by 16. All these fractions are equal because 2 by 8 and 4 by 16 are equal to 1 by 4. The next figure on the board shows 5 parts shaded out of 12. So, the fraction is 5 by 12. The next figure shows 7 shaded parts and the fraction is 7 by 12. Toby puts a sign in between to show 5 by 12 is less than 7 by 12. Toby now writes 3 by 7 plus 1 by 7 equals 3 plus 1 by 7 because both are like fractions and their total becomes 4 by 7. Similarly, 7 by 9 plus 1 by 9 equals 7 plus 1 by 9 or 8 by 9. Like fractions can be added like this. Good revision, Toby. More about fractions. Teacher Nancy is here to tell us more about fractions. First, she describes proper fractions, giving examples 1 by 3, 6 by 7, 3 by 11, 12 by 13. In all these fractions, the numerator is less than the denominator. Nancy Ma'am moves on to describe improper fractions. She writes the example 7 by 3, 9 by 8, 11 by 10, 13 by 13. These are called improper because the numerator is larger than the denominator. Teacher Nancy now writes unit fractions on the board. She writes the examples 1 by 3, 1 by 2, 1 by 5, 1 by 10. These are unit fractions because they are used as units in measurement. Nancy Ma'am shows one piece of bread and half piece of bread.
She now adds the two. One plus half is equal to one and a half. Thank you, Nancy, ma'am. Fun math. Teacher Nancy is ready to explain fractions by using figures. She makes six triangles on the board and explains how to understand fractions. She now colors one triangle and forms the fraction one out of six or one upon six. That is one part out of six. Teacher Nancy now draws four squares on the board and tells the class to follow closely. She now colors three squares red and asks the class. Nancy Ma'am writes the fraction as three upon four or three parts out of four. Next. Teacher Nancy makes three circles and colors one of them. She writes the fraction as one out of three or one upon three. On the far end of the board, she draws a rectangle with six parts. She shapes all the parts and the fraction becomes 6 upon 6 or it means the whole rectangle. She now draws a hexagon with 6 parts and shapes 3 parts to make the fraction 3 upon 6. 3 out of 6 parts is half the parts. That was fun Nancy ma'am. Relationship of a fraction with division. Teacher Nancy is ready in class to tell us that the number on the top in a fraction is called numerator and the number below is the denominator. For the fraction 2 by 3, 2 is the numerator and 3 the denominator. In terms of division, the number on top is the dividend and the number below is the divisor. This means that for 2 upon 3, the numerator is equal to the dividend that is 2. The denominator is equal to the divisor that is equal to 3. Nancy Ma'am places 4 equal pieces of apples in a tray. She picks out two pieces and places them out of the tray. She writes the fraction 2 upon 4 for the selected apple pieces. Now she joins the pieces to show 4 pieces make 2 apples. The fraction 2 upon 4 is actually 1 upon 2. She makes a rectangle with 4 parts, shades 2 parts and writes 2 upon 4. She makes another equal rectangle and shades one part to write 1 upon 2. We've got your point ma'am. Equivalent Fraction Teacher Rosie marks the jar drawn on the board with fractions indicating the level of liquid in it. Rosie ma'am explains that to find equivalent fractions, multiply the numerator and denominator by the same number. So, 1 upon 3 multiplied by 2 upon 2 gives 2 upon 6. 1 upon 3 and 2 upon 6 are equivalent fractions. Similarly, 1 upon 3 into 3 upon 3 is equal to 3 upon 9. Therefore, 1 upon 3 equals 2 upon 6 equals 3 upon 9. To cross check, cross multiply two equivalent fractions and the product will be the same. 2 upon 6 and 3 upon 9 give 18 upon 18. Hence, they are equivalent fractions. Reduction of a fraction to the lowest terms. 
Peter Rosie walks in the class and revises equivalent fractions. 1 by 4 equals 2 by 8 equals 3 by 12. She asks the children and writes the steps. 1 by 4 into 2 by 2 equals 2 by 8 and 1 by 4 into 3 by 3 equals 3 by 12. Therefore, 1 by 4 equals 2 by 8 equals 3 by 12. Rosie Ma'am asks the class how they will reduce the fractions. Simple. 2 by 4 divided by 2 by 2 is equal to 1 by 4. You can also see the shaded circles on the board. Thank you Rosie Ma'am. Fraction of a whole number Teacher Rosie is ready to work on fraction of a whole number. She has 20 jars on the board and she explains how to find 3 fifths of 20. She now divides the whole number 20 by the fraction denominator and gets 4. Next, she multiplies the numerator by 4 and gets 12. So, 3 fifths of 20 is 12. You can see the 12 colored jars on the board. Rosie Ma'am has another question. What is 3 eighths of 24? She follows the same method as before and gets 9 as the answer. Nice going ma'am. Comparison of unlike fractions Teacher Nancy talks about comparing fractions with the children and fractions appear on the board. One shaded part out of four parts of a circle is one fourth. One part out of five parts is one fifth. Now, which is greater? Teacher Nancy expands the fraction 1 upon 5 to make it 2 upon 10. She finds another equivalent fraction as 4 upon 20. She now multiplies 1 upon 4 to make it 5 upon 20. On the same denominator, 20 5 is greater than 4. So, 1 upon 4 is greater than 1 upon 5. Nancy Ma'am now compares 3 upon 4 and 2 upon 3. She finds the equivalent fractions of 3 upon 4 equal to 9 upon 12. Similarly, she finds the equivalent fraction of 2 upon 3 and this is 8 upon 12. She now compares 9 upon 12 and 8 upon 12. 9 is greater than 8. So, 3 upon 4 is greater than 2 upon 3. Good comparison, ma'am. Addition of fraction. Teacher Rosie and Jenny have a problem. They have a cake on the table. Jenny plans to eat two fifths of the cake, and Rosie ma'am thinks about eating two thirds of the cake. How much will each get? So, Rosie Ma'am decides to add the two fractions. Both are unlike fractions. So, she calculates the LCM of the denominators 3 and 5. The LCM is 15. The next step is to convert both the denominators to 15 to make the fractions equivalent. Rosie Ma'am multiplies 1 upon 3 by 5 upon 5 and gets 
5 upon 15. Next, she multiplies 2 upon 5 by 3 upon 3 and gets 6 upon 15. Teacher Rosie now adds 5 upon 15 and 6 upon 15 to get 11 upon 15. She has solved the problem of dividing the cake and explained how to add unlike fractions. Good going ma'am. Subtraction of fractions. Teacher Nancy is in class to show us how to subtract unlike fractions. Her question is to subtract 2 and 1 by 3 from 4 and a half. She converts these into improper fractions and writes 9 upon 2 minus 7 upon 3. Nancy Ma'am works out the LCM of the denominators 2 and 3 and gets 6. To subtract, she has to convert the unlike fractions into like fractions using the LCM. So, 9 upon 2 into 3 upon 3 equals 27 upon 6. 7 upon 3 into 2 upon 2 becomes 14 upon 6. Finally, teacher Nancy subtracts 14 from 27 upon 6 and gets 13 upon 6. She converts this into proper fraction and writes 2 whole number and 1 upon 6. That was easy, ma'am. Multiplication of fraction. Toby Bowles is ready to tell us how to multiply fractions. He points to the five figures of shaded polygons, each showing the fraction 2 upon 5. Toby now adds these like fractions, so he writes 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 over 5. Multiplication is repeated addition. So, Tommy writes 4 times 2 or 4 into 2 upon 5. He gets 8 upon 5. He converts this into proper fraction and writes 1 whole number 3 upon 5. Tommy now takes up a fresh question to multiply 9 and 2 upon 3. Whole number 9 can be written as 9 upon 1 and this is to be multiplied by 2 upon 3. Toby multiplies the numerators to get 18 and denominators to get 3. Converting 18 upon 3 into proper fraction gives 6. So, 9 into 2 upon 3 is equal to 6. Good work, Toby. Reciprocal in fraction. Toby Mouse has an 8 liter oil jar on the table. He has to fill this oil in bottles of 1 third liter. So, he divides 8 by reciprocal 3. Reciprocal 3 is 1 by 3. So, he divides 8 by 1 upon 3. He multiplies 8 by reciprocal of 1 by 3 which is 3. He gets 8 into 3 equal to 24. Toby now knows he will require 24 bottles of 1 by 3 liters from the 8 liter oil jar.